Well, it is a cold day today. Coldish weather today. It's uh, 50 degrees right now, so I got I got my cold weather riding gear on. A little bit chilly, but you know the gear helps kind of cover some of uh, cover some of that wind coldness, wind chill when you're doing 50 miles an hour on a bike. Should probably only be doing about 45 down these roads. Not that there's any cops out here. Stop of that, no one really cares how fast you go down on these roads because nobody out here. But uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Heading back to the gym. Skipped the gym yesterday, but we got a treadmill at the house, so used the treadmill at the house yesterday and just kind of skipped since it was a rainy day and I just didn't want to go out. I worked a 65 hour a week. I didn't really feel like getting out. I got out Friday right after work. That's enough for me. So, going back out today. I'm sure I'm going to see people out who are probably going to think I'm crazy for being out on a motorcycle in this kind of weather, but it is what it is. I like to ride. It gives me an excuse to make videos too, so I like riding. I've got no problem riding when it's a little bit chilly. I hate cold weather, but I'll still ride when it's a little chilly. I mean, I've ridden when it's down at like, you know, 35 degrees and that's, that's cold. Uh, that wasn't on purpose though. The one time I rode when it was that cold, I did not have the gear for it. I was wearing my summer gear. Me and my buddy went out to a restaurant down in Texas. When we went to the restaurant, I left the house and it was like maybe 70 degrees. It was pretty nice, like 70, 75 degrees. It was pretty nice out. I had my summer riding gear on and we went out to the restaurant and we were hanging out there for way too long sun went down and then we walked back out and like holy crap it's cold and it turned out it was like 35 degrees you know this was in uh the winter still i mean this is you know winter time down in texas so it'll go from 75 degrees during the day down to 35 degrees when the sun goes down so you know how it is and uh, we rode home, well, he was riding one way, I was riding another, but yeah, we both rode home because he was on a bike too. He was on his ZX-10, at the time I had my ZX-6R. And uh, yeah, we were both riding and we we're both kind of looking at each other as we walked out of the restaurant like, oh, this is gonna suck. He didn't have any jacket or anything. He basically just had a helmet and gloves. And then he was just wearing jeans and a t-shirt. So he rode home in jeans and a t-shirt. I at least had like my jacket on. Not that the jacket did a whole lot. I think that was, that was like back in like 2020. Yeah, I'm sure that guy's looking at me like I'm a psychopath. There's a guy standing up there on the porch who was kind of giving me a weird look as I was driving by. It's like, yep, I'm that guy who's out here in this weather doing that. Oh, wow, look at all that. That is a lot of Halloween decorations. Hey, there's another guy on a bike. Someone else is as dumb as I am. I'm way up there though. I think he just pulled in that gas station. Oh, well, it's definitely a little chilly. But uh, man, this freaking jacket does an awesome job blocking a lot of that wind. I mean, I saw, I, actually I saw quite a few people on bikes. Uh, kind of surprised I saw as many people as what I did. I saw a group of them as well so there's another guy up there I can I can see now who's on a bike kind of surprised how many people are out here toughing it out how cold it is it's all cruisers though probably won't see another sport bike I oh, see there's another one another two guys here watch I see there's no sport bikes out I wouldn't be surprised if I end up seeing that one guy that ZX6R right here He's got a light bar in the front of a Dart. I used to have a Dart. I had a 2014 Dart Turbo, or 2013. That guy's paying zero attention. A 2013 Turbo Dart, and uh, I blew it up. Slapped an eBay Turbo on there and blowed it up. I 
guarantee I'm probably getting looks in there through the window of people going, who is this idiot on a bike? I think I'm really just talking myself up to make myself, make myself feel better about being out on a bike. I'm trying to make myself feel like I'm tougher than what I am by talking about it. I'm not though. Well, that's a good little workout. I don't, I don't, I don't mind the Springfield gym that much. So it's, it's okay. I still prefer uh, Huber Heights. Uh, people there are just, you know, everyone's friendly there. Springfield, like nobody talks to you. I mean, I know you're at a gym. You're not, you know, necessarily there to just like hang out and chill or anything. But like. You go to the Huber Heights Planet Fitness and, you know, people will give you, like, little tips. You know, they'll help you out. If you look like you don't know what the hell you're doing, you know, they'll kind of be like, hey, can uh, I give you some advice? You know, they're just friendlier there, it seems. Springfield, which I also don't mind, you know, the whole thing with Springfield where everyone kind of just minds their own business. And I don't mind that either. But... There's, uh, I don't know, people there just seem to be a little snobbier, maybe. Eh, maybe that's not the right word. I don't know what it is. Just, just not quite as friendly as the people at the Huber Heights location. I prefer the Huber Heights one, but it's like a 45-minute drive from me. Well, maybe not 45 minutes, about a half-hour drive from me, where the Springfield is only 10 minutes away from me, so... I'm going to that one more often. Hopefully we can move back towards that Huber Heights area here soon. And uh, I can start going back there more frequently. I can definitely tell I'm getting old. One, because I am. Two, my back hurts. Not like right now. Right now it's fine. Uh, but just, if I sit for too long, my lower back kills me. And oddly enough, in my truck though, my semi-truck, I can drive that all day long and my back feels perfectly fine because like I have the seat a little more lean back, the seat's more comfortable. You know, my back doesn't hurt at all. I have no pain whatsoever from my truck chair. But like at the end of the day, I'll go back into uh, uh, the sleeper in my truck and I'll sit down in bed and you know pull out my little uh, shelf or not shelf uh little table thing it's got like a little slide out table i will eat uh using that and then when i get done eating i'll go to stand up and it's like painful to stand up because my lower back hurts and it just happened again today where i was at home and i was sitting at the desk editing a video and like when i got up a couple of times my freaking back hurt like to the point where like it hurts to the point where when i get up like i'm still hunched over for like a few seconds and then after a few seconds of kind of straightening myself out the pain completely goes away and it's completely unnoticeable i have zero pain after a few seconds but it's just the initial getting up is like my back hurts and that's why i like sport bikes because i'm more leaned over i'm putting more of that weight you know on you know my shoulders and my wrist as opposed to my lower back and uh, i had heard about that from the guy that i bought my first motorcycle off of which was a ninja 300 and i bought the bike off of him it was his son's bike and he was telling me because he had a zx10r and he was telling me that he used to ride harleys but it hurt his lower back so much that he switched over to sport bikes because they didn't hurt his back. And I am now beginning to see exactly what he was talking about. Because I can ride sport bikes all freaking day long. No problem. No back pain. I mean, you know, your upper back will get a little sore, but it's like, you know, the normal soreness of riding a sport bike and being leaned over but i mean aside from that i don't have any abnormal you know abnormal back pain from a sport bike and i never have 
I have had back pain from my cruisers that I've had. I had a Kawasaki Vulcan and a um, uh, and a Harley that I would have some back pain when I would get off of those, lower back pain when I would get off of those, and not just like a little soreness, like, you know, hurt. It caused like pain pain. Uh, actually, the same thing with my Grom. I had a Honda Grom for about two years, too. It's the same thing with that, because you know, you're more upright. But I've never had that issue on any of the sport bikes that I've had. I've had quite a few sport bikes. Never had any back problems with them, except for just the ordinary soreness that you get. You know, that everybody gets. You know, just from the position. But I'm definitely getting old. And I'm starting to feel it now. I'm 32, so it is what it is. Enjoy it while you can, and that's what I'm doing. That's why I have a sport bike. That's why I had all my little, all my little toys and my fast cars and stuff like that, which I don't have anymore now. I get another one, but that's why I had all that. Yeah, enjoy it while you can. I like being out in the middle of nowhere. It's kind of nice. Out in the out in the cornfields, out in the booties. Well, I ain't got much else. Suppose this will be till next time. Okay, love you. Bye.